So at this meeting, we uh, presented data from the LEAP002 study, uh, which was a large multinational phase three study evaluating the combination of lenvantinib and pemrelizumab to lenvantinib and placebo uh, in patients with advanced liver cancer in the first line setting. This study grew out of a phase 1b study where we initially evaluated, evaluated lenvantinib and pembrolizumab in combination in about 100 patients and saw significant activity, uh, objective response rates of 36% and a median survival of over 21 months. And as it stands now, lenvantinib is globally approved in the frontline setting as a single agent. Pembrolizumab, a PD-1 inhibitor, is approved in the United States in second line. And there's scientific rationale to combine these two agents together. And the phase 1B study gave us clinical rationale to go ahead with a, a large phase 3 study. So in this phase 3 study, just under 800 patients were randomized, one-to-one, uh, -one, uh, to receive lenvantinib and pembrolizumab, or lenvantinib and placebo. Like most studies in advanced liver cancer, we accrued patients who had well-compensated liver disease, child PUA. Uh, they were good at performance status, had no prior treatment. Uh, and importantly, patients with main portal vein invasion were excluded. Uh, they were stratified using the common prognostic factors, region, elevated AFP, ECOG performance status, presence or absence of high-risk features such as macrovascular invasion or extrapatic spread. And the study had dual primary endpoints of overall survival and progression-free survival by independent review. When we look at the analysis uh, that was presented at ESMOS, the final analysis for overall survival, and we saw that the treatment arm of Pembro and Lenvantinib performed as expected. We saw a median survival of over 21 months. Uh, we saw an objective response rate of 25%. Uh, we saw a PFS of over eight months. However, the control arm performed much better than expected. Uh, the control arm gave us a median survival of 19 months. As compared to the benchmark in the REFLEX study, the pivotal study that got lenvantinib approved, overall survival in that study was uh, 13 and a half months. So in this new era of liver cancer, where we have uh, many drugs available at progression, uh, we're seeing, to some degree, the change in the natural history and that lenvantinib is providing, you know, five to six months longer survival as a single agent in the frontline setting than it did in the pivotal reflex study. So, unfortunately, this is a negative study. When we look at the other endpoint of PFS, uh, the uh, hazard ratio was 0.86, but it did not reach statistical significance. But like in other immuno-oncology studies, we see a tail to the curve, where over time, like at a, a two-month, uh, a two-year benchmark, 16% uh, of patients in the treatment arm still had not progressed as compared to like 9% in the control arm. Objective responses were higher with the combination, as mentioned, 25% versus about 17%. And the safety uh, was consistent with everything we know about these drugs. Uh, the combination did not increase the frequency or intensity of, comp of adverse events. Uh, most of the adverse events looked like those that we see with lenvantinib. Uh, and immune-related adverse events were generally low grade and, and less than 10% of patients needed steroids. So in conclusion, uh, you know, we demonstrated the activity of Len Pembro. Uh, was not statistically better than LEN alone in terms of overall survival or PFS. Uh, the safety has been established. Uh, really, the activity of lenvantinib alone uh, has improved over time and, and reaffirms its position as an important agent for patients with advanced liver cancer in the frontline setting. And the regimen is still being evaluated in another phase three study, which uh, we're hopeful will show benefit, and that is the LEAP012 study of LEN, PEMBRO, plus chemoembolization versus chemoembolization or placebo in patients with intermediate stage liver cancer. So moving forward, uh, I think LEN, PEMBRO does serve as a backbone for future drug development, uh, even though it won't get regulatory approval based on this study, I don't anticipate that. 
because uh, it did not meet its endpoints, but it did show significant activity in liver cancer. Uh, and, and the other takeaway, I think, is just the reassuring the activity of lenvantinib uh, as a very active TKI in the space.